Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Bar and Grilled. We are here, what is it, May? Yes, May 4th, 2018. The re-grand opening of the Lakewood Melt Bar and Grilled location, the flagship location. We started here 12 years ago. This location behind me is my baby. This is the reason that we all exist here. This is the reason we have 500 employees. 10 locations in Ohio. It all started here in this little scratch kitchen here in Lakewood, Ohio. Very tight. We, we worked on it a long time. We closed it April 1st. 35 days of renovation. We are back with the grand opening celebration today. So we're going to take you guys inside for a quick sneak peek of what is going on. Uh, I want to show you all the fun, cool things that we have for, in store for you. So come on this way with me, young lady. So you guys can see our grand new entrance way in the back. You can see this awesome new sign we've got up top up there that's going to illuminate this whole back back parking lot going on. <laughs> so come on. Come on. Let's get out of the sun. I'll meet you inside. Go ahead. Oh, man. Look how awesome it looks. Okay, so we are in the, the brand new back entrance vestibule area. Behind you guys, there's two new unisex bathrooms. So very nice, very nice. So two new handicap, handicap accessible unisex bathrooms on the first floor now. Very, very beautiful inside. We could probably take a sneak peek of the bathrooms. Come on, come on. Huh? Look at this, we're gonna have a dance party in here. We can live in this thing. I'm gonna get a cot later and take a nap in there, I think. So two of those bad boys, those are gonna be awesome. Come on in here. Keep on walking, we've got an awesome new host stand we created right here. And if you guys see the new Jake Kelly mural behind the host stand right there, Jake worked on this for about a month and a half or so. Full color mural, brand new for the Lakewood location. Maybe you see yourself in it, maybe you don't. The original mural is still here at the front door up there. You guys can see the new front vestibule area that's also there. So the original mural from 2008 is still here. We just brightened it up, made it better. We added some new windows to get some light in here. Um, this is the new expansion side that we opened up in 2008. And then we did a complete renovation project here. You can see the new wall we put up with some awesome Cleveland memorabilia pictures. We got barn wood. We sourced some barn wood from um, some barns in southern Ohio that we work with. Um, some farmers. We've got, a, we got the same original awesome hardwood floor, the random floor, but we just finally got a chance to take it down to bare wood and seal it the proper way so this new dining room is going to be killer we're going to be able to do a lot of nice parties in here you can see the brand new tables and chairs we've got we got a bunch of six top tables down here a bunch of four tops so really can accommodate a lot more people in the lakewood location a lot easier a lot the flow, the flow is going to be better it's just going to be fantastic so let's go over to the bar the original side See like the blow molds we put up there everywhere. So we created a cool area here to get some more light in here. The classic milk blow mold, the Audi blow molds that everyone's become familiar with. They're very synonymous with the melt design. Added those on this side as well. This is the original side, the original melt bar and grilled location. We used to be just here when we opened up in 2006. And then we expanded to the, the room we just showed you in 2008. So this is where it all started right here. This was where, what the main reason that we closed down was to renovate that kitchen that's way back there. So we'll show you guys in a little bit. But this bar site here, we really spent a lot of time and effort to make this fun, interesting, exciting, access accessible, clean, just modernize it a little bit. So you can see the new the bar, not really a new bar there, but you can see me, see I'm waving at you there in the mirror, ha ha ha. So the back bar is original. That was the original bar that was here from the 1940s. Um, so what we did, we stripped that down to raw wood and restained it a nice darker color. We put the tap handles on the back bar instead of the front bar, if you're familiar with that. We actually increased the tap selection here at Melt Bar and Grilled in Lakewood. It used to be 20 taps, we went up to 24. So now we have four more awesome beers. Some more blow molds up there. Big TVs we added. You guys can see the awesome tap selection there. Some new liquor shelves. Courtney's back. Wave Courtney. Courtney's back. 
got to see the nice big TV. He's got two 65s hanging over the bar. He's got a big 75 inch down there. And let's swing back towards the window. You can see one of the crowning jewels that we've got here is our big uh, Detroit theater sign that we just sourced. We just sourced this sign behind me. This is one of two signs that exist in the world from the Detroit Theater that was open right up the street from here, the Detroit Theater on Detroit. It was torn down in the mid, uh, early 2000s. Those are the two signs that were hanging off the marquee. So really excited to get this. Our friend Dana DePew, amazing artist, took it. Two weeks, renovated it, put the neon on there, some new LEDs in there. So that is really the crowning jewel of the uh, aesthetics that we're doing right here. So. New walls over there, new pictures. Let's swing back towards the kitchen so we'll take you guys to the kitchen. I'll follow you. You know what I would post you about these did this renovation project was not only for the both the dining rooms, the back entrance way we just showed you guys is brand new, but the kitchen. The kitchen needed some work. If you're familiar with Lakewood, Ohio at all, you know that the bars and restaurants and buildings in general in Lakewood are very small, very tight, very old. We're in a century old building right here, so very difficult to run a full service operation, a very busy restaurant in a very small, tight area. So when I first opened up in 2006, I inherited a kitchen that was very small. And when I first started, didn't matter you know I worked in there with a couple people we had a small menu we served a lot of people but we could handle it as we started expanding out um, starting in 2010 you guys know we expanded out outside of our small little footprint here in Lakewood Ohio the restaurants got bigger the kitchens got bigger the menu got bigger but the poor little Lakewood didn't get any bigger so it was a struggle to get the food out in time. It was a struggle to keep the quality of the ingredients and the quality of the experience that we wanted to provide our guests up. So, we closed. We closed for our 35 days and we tore this kitchen apart. New walls, new ceiling, new floor, all new equipment, made it bigger, took the dish room out and moved it out there. So come in here, get a bird's eye view of these, these beautiful guys and girls that are in here. Wait, Doug. Kitchen. Incredible. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Dude, a lot of good energy back here. We're actually all working for free. They said, Matt, we're going to work for free. Yeah, if no. you can build us a new kitchen, we're going to work for free because we love Melt so much. We love you. So they're going to work for the rest of the month, all for free. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no problem, Matt. See? You heard it here. It's on, it's on video. It's on video. So let's go back. We'll come up here. Show you a couple other things. So we're doing two cool things now. We got the uh, CLE Clothing Company made us some exclusive Milk Bar and Grill Lakewood renovation shirts. So these are going to be available for you. We got a hundred of these that are made, so they're going to go quick. So make sure you guys come up here and get these awesome shirts. They're also going to be available on our website, MelkBarAndGrill.com and they're going to be available at the CLE clothing website to buy too. And our good friends at FoundryWoodprints.com, FoundryWoodprints.com made these really cool coasters for us. These are wooden coasters that are Cleveland Lakewood centric. They got our logo on there. We're giving these away for free. So we got 500 of these cool things to give away all weekend. So come on up and see us. Get a coaster or two. And I don't know what else I can tell you. Come on. Let's talk. Let's finish up. So thanks guys for coming to the Facebook Live event to talk about the new Lakewood Bar and Grill location. Lakewood, our re-grand opening today, May the 4th. So May the 4th be with you. Come and see us all, I mean forever, we're here. We're open today, 11 to 11. We're open all weekend. I'll be here. Come check us out. So 